Right, so today is Thursday the 25th of July. We're going on another hike. The weather does not look conducive to hiking, but the weather reports tell me no rain and that it's going to hit 1920 in the afternoon. Now I haven't hiked in cooler conditions and this may be better. I don't like hiking in really hot weather and this might be a better option but we're going to give it a go we'll see what we can do um, right we are heading to a different car park we are doing a different so we're, we're one car two car parks up we're heading for Moss Moor Trig Point, uh, the Windy Hill Transmitter I think it's called and I'm hoping to end on the Lancashire Borderstone, the Pennon Way Bridge and then the Yorkshire Borderstone. That should give me about five miles. I'm not going to do as much as last time because I think my feet are still recovering a little bit and I really overdid it last time. <laughs> So, let's get this show on the road, and we'll see you at the other end.
This does not look good. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can hardly see a thing out there. And we're talking serious sideway winds. And the mist is like rain. I'm going to stand outside and see how this feels. Okay, so it's not as cold as it looks and the wind isn't as bad as it looks, but you can't see a thing. So all the things that I wanted to see today, I won't be able to see because you can't see anything. So there'll be nothing to show you either because you can't see anything. This just doesn't bode well. I'm going to go home. <laughs> we'll try again another time. because this is not this is not going to be worth it. Although it doesn't feel that cold, I don't know if when I start walking it will feel colder. And I haven't brought any other layers to wear. I was a little bit too optimistic, I think. Um, yeah, this does, this does not bode well for an, a, a great day. Um, I don't want to be battling against sideways wind, feeling cold and wishing I hadn't bothered. <sighs> Something in my gut told me, don't go today, and I thought, eh, we'll be alright, we'll be fine. We're not. <laughs> Damn. Monday looks better. Tuesday looks good. I could do Tuesday. I could do Monday or Tuesday. Let's scrap this. Let's go home. Let's go home and do some other stuff instead. <laughs> There's no point in doing this if it's going to be really cold and windy. Um, that's not what I do this for. I'm not here to face all the elements. It's too much. Right, I'm going home. Oh well, never mind. So you may not have noticed on the way out, as I was approaching the car park, I went past some reservoirs. Those are the reservoirs that I tried to get to last week and didn't get to. And ironically this week, I have passed them. So I've driven back and there are some parking spaces right at the edge of the reservoirs and you can walk around the reservoirs so just behind me is a walkway and it's for Dowry Reservoir so I'm thinking that although the weather isn't great a short walk around the reservoirs might actually be doable Because at least if it starts to rain, or I decide I've had enough and it's cold, um, I'm not far from the car, you know? I'm not going miles and miles out of my way, and then I've got to hike all the way back, and it's just a mess. So what I might do is just 
put my boots on. Yeah, seeing as we're here, why not? Let's make the most of this while we can. We'll test it out and see how we get on. Let's give it a go. Look, got a hat on. <laughs> it's chilly enough for a hat. Doesn't actually feel that bad now I'm out. Um, right, so I'm just going to show you what I can see from here. So where that sign is there is the path down to the dairy reservoir. And there you can see the dairy reservoir just over there. Over here is the other reservoir. And if you look in the distance there, there's a little turret. And just to the left of that turret, you can see a wall. And then you can see another wall, like a proper field wall. And then halfway along that wall, you might be able to see a track running up. That is where I stopped for my lunch last week. So that's where we are. That's where I made it to. And I think I probably could have walked around those reservoirs, but to be honest with you, I was so knackered by then. I'd lost the will, really. <laughs> so, right, car's locked up. Got my phones. I'm just gonna come and walk down the reservoir. So I'm gonna take you with me and we'll see what we should find. So this is Dowry Reservoir. Feels quite nice to do a, a walk with no direct aim. Something a little more gentle, I suppose. Look at a gate, how quaint. So this is the part, this has been one of the paths around the reservoirs I was looking for. is very low today. Nice to see those trees up there. Quite like that. In some ways I'm quite thankful. <laughs> that I'm not doing a massive hike today. I don't think that my feet would have made it. I can feel where last week's blisters were and a little bit of pressure when I'm walking, so it's very damp up here today as well. Ooh, look, slugs.
imagine how grim it must be up on that moor. Blowing the slugs everywhere today, look. Look at these dudes. I think I'll see too many walkers out today. So although it's quite windy out on the top, down here we are surrounded by hills. We're like in a little inset valley and it is as quiet as anything down here. No wind. See the cows on the hill there. And along the top here, you probably can't see, there are swallows ducking and diving.
Now it looks like I can walk there, but I'm tempted to take this route and go up along the top there. And I presume perhaps we can come back down there. We'll have a look. cows <laughs> keeping an eye on me definitely some mud This weather temperature is much nicer for hiking. I've got proper tracky bottoms on today. And I've still got all my layers on and I feel just right. think there's another path there but I feel like going this way That's a great view of Dowry Reservoir. Presumably we can get down here and along there. I guess we'll soon find out.
Canada geese. Lovely. Now, where do I go from here? Do I go down here? I'm not sure. Maybe. It's not very clear. It doesn't seem very path-like, does it? We'll have a look and see. I mean, it looks walked. I always try to aim for places that look like they've had some walking. Look how wet my boots are. And I'm still dry. I'd have been soaked by now if I was in my old boots. There's no rain today, but the weather feels very iffy. I'm going to follow this path, because it looks walked. I'm trying to slip in the process. It's very steep here. The fact that it's grassy is more tricky because it's damp as well so it's really slippery. There we go.
think I'm going to have to go back the way I came. Let's have a look. Oh, I don't know, there's a track. Definitely a track there. So now I'm at the opposite end of that bridge. And I came along that side there. Yeah, we'll take this one. I just realised I never had a single skylark on my last hike. That's the first hike I've done with no skylarks. mound out there. I'm trying to find out if that's significant or if it's just a mound. <laughs> Dowry Reservoir.
curlews.
Just got chatting to the lady there. Those two little trucks there for sheep. They're gathering sheep because some walkers up on the hill left a gate open somewhere and some of their sheep have made a run for it so they're now on the wrong land. So they're here trying to gather their sheep. They've got dogs and quad bikes as is the usual way now. Right, so I need to go to the left here. Ooh, how do I get this open? Oh, it's just stiff. So, let that be a lesson to you all. Please, when you are out hiking, please shut the gates. <laughs> Keep your dogs on leads when you're told to. And don't mess up the land, you know, it's a fine... Oh, I'm going to turn you around so you have a look at this. Pretty. It's getting windier now. <laughs> it's funny how you can go from being in completely quiet, serene weather and then you cross one ridge and it's completely different. I love these pink flowers. They are everywhere here. Lovely splash of colour. Oh, look at my first hill. Now I need to make sure this goes round to the right because I want to stick to following that route round back to the car. Should be alright and I know that the road here has a, a path so I could always do that. Here's the road. I didn't really want to get too near. But I do need to be going in the right direction. There's that mound again. Hmm. I'm guessing that's Pennine Way there and you probably can't see this on this camera but if you see that little bridge down there just up and to the left of it there's a man and that's the man who is with the lady and they're trying to gather their sheep so now we're up on the the brow of the hill here, kind of. Now, I need to go right, but there is no pathway for that. Because I need to be back down there. I don't want to be going off there. Because I'm going the wrong way. Unless there's a loop. I'm just going to have a look, see if there's a loop. So yeah, I'm going to have to go down this road. But the verge is pretty good. And it's not far to go. At least I know what I'm expecting here. Wow, it's windy here. <laughs> yeah, this is walkable. I thought this might happen. It's fine. And I know there's a path along here because I've driven this bit.
you find these little lay-bys everywhere and as long as you don't park like an idiot you're pretty good to go I'll be careful about this one because this is the access point that those farmers were using and they need that room to be able to get out so you can just see them down there can you see a little light just on top of the hill I wonder if that's one of their little quad bikes it's weird isn't it Oh look, there's a little man, I can see him, just above the sign, in the distance, just to the left of the sign, there's a man walking. Blimey, they must be fit. So that lady was saying that she was on her first gathering in a year, because she put her knee out a year ago, did some damage and hasn't been able to walk properly. Takes a long time for knees to heal, you've got to look after your knees. Wow, it's windy here. Oh my goodness. And it's spitting rain. We're okay, because in the distance, I can see my car. <laughs> so it can do what it likes weather-wise now, because it's not that far. There's where I went, all the way around there, all the way around here. So windy there, I lost my sponge. Wow, it is that windy. It's the first time that's happened. It's spitting rain, but it's not horrific. I mean, to hold my spongy thing on because it's um, <laughs> it's really windy. Another good little parking spot here. So we finally got to do the Devon Reservoir. <laughs> That's a little bit of fate for you. Didn't get the other walk, but I did manage to get to do the bit I didn't do last week. So that's pretty cool. I don't mind that. So up on the left there is where I was last week. I wore this hat. <laughs> it's a little thermal hat that I found. 
lovely a couple of years ago. Someone dropped it in the woods down at my parents. And I adopted it. And it's really nice. So we're nearly back. So there's Dowry. And on the other side is the other, other reservoir that I did get to. So I'm just going to nip over the road here and have a quick look at that. So this is the New Year's Bridge Reservoir. Oh, there's a kestrel down there. As you can see that. And in the distance see that little turret. And if you follow the wall behind the turret to the left and keep following that wall as it comes into that field, that's where I got to. So that's the other reservoir. I feel like I've accomplished something now because I've filled in the gap, which means when I get to do my next walk, we'll be good to go. Right, let's cross over the road and then we're going to head that way and we're going to head home. keeping the camera low so that my my wind muffler doesn't get blown off the edge into the reservoir. <laughs> I'm not going back there for it. That's been a good day out. Oh, there's a marker stone there. Let's go and have a look at the marker stone. You can see the top of that hill there. There they are. Quad bikers looking for sheep. <laughs> marker point which has been set so far into the tarmac you can't read it I'm presuming that says Rochdale Huddersfield and New Hay Road oh, Huddersfield Road and New Hay Frymere and then it says there Huddersfield, 12 miles. You know, yeah. <sighs> so, here come the sheep. Let's have a look at the sheep. They didn't know how many sheep they'd lost, so they won't know until they get them back again. I don't know if you can see that. Oops. There's the sheep going back to where they're supposed to be. Hope you can see that. Hard work being a farmer. There they go. They lost quite a few. A 
And now there they are going back through their fence. And up higher you can see the quad bikers. And I can even see the man walking through the field. So that's me done. See you back at the car. And look at the mileage that I've walked, the steps that I've done on my phone. But it's um, it's a bit out because I guess because I've had no signal. So it reckons I've done half an hour of walking and completed 3,252 steps, which is definitely wrong. Hey ho. Um, right. I didn't even drink any of my water. Because that was such an easy little hike. I'll um, put a picture on here. Uh, I'll draw it so you can see where I've been. It's only 20 past 10. So I'm not going to be that tired. Get home and do some work. At least I've done something. I might be able to track my actual mileage on the maps when I get back. We'll see. And even though I haven't done a full day's hike, I'm going to treat myself to my snack. Back. And then I'm going to go home. Ready spread slices. I love mort loaf. Right. I guess we're going to go home then. The weather's brightening up. I'm not doing another hike now. <laughs> That's enough for one day. I haven't got time to do another five miles. And it's probably still pretty grim up on the hill. Right, let's head home.